Hello, hello, hello. What's up? It's your girl Twan the Mystic from HouseMystic.com. Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, what's up? I'm Twan. Okay, so today's reading, we're talking all about unexpected blessings, the blessings you did not see coming. Okay, so you already know what I'm about to say. Go ahead and light your incense, light your candles, and light your blunts because we're about to get real deep with this reading. And if you love deep, insightful, and accurate pick a cards, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're updated every single time I drop something new. Also, keep watching. So, yep. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into these piles. Pick the picture or the number you feel the most drawn to and then go to the corresponding timestamps in my description. Hello, hello, hello. Those of you that chose picture number one, pile number one, all that stuff. Um, yeah, let's get into your reading all about unexpected blessings coming your way okay so um yeah let's see what's coming your way oh yeah i have a spread so we're going to talk about the unexpected blessings coming your way then we're going to talk about when can you expect these blessings to come your way and then is there anything that could possibly possibly be blocking these blessings okay so let's see we have avoid drama Okay, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> um, patience. Okay. Embrace uncertainty. Okay. And abundance. Oh, love to see abundance, right? So I feel like unexpected blessings that's coming your way. I definitely feel like something you've been waiting for is coming your way. Like, um... If you've been uh, waiting to hear back from a job, if you've been trying to get a job, if you've been, um, like, if you've been wanting to make or needing the money to make some type of purchase, or if you were trying to move, or, like, just something that you've been patiently having to wait for, you're going to see you're going to see it start to unfold, something that you've been waiting for. But we also have avoid drama here. So I feel like another unexpected blessing is that you're about to have peace. Like if you've been experiencing like drama or conflict with someone else, like, oh, wow, and it's 122, um, you're going to experience a lot more peace. If you've been experiencing a lot of like chaos, maybe with your finances, living situation, something, you're going to have more peace and I almost want to say, un I almost wanted to say understanding. I don't know, but I definitely see you having way more peace. And then like for some of you guys, I'm feeling like, especially with this um, embracing uncertainty, I feel like there's some type of outcome that you were fearing. There's some type of outcome that you were fearing. You're fearing, like, for example, um, maybe you were like, man, I'm, I don't know if I'll ever get a job, uh, ever get a good job, or I don't know if I'll ever find my person, or I don't know if I'll ever have this or have that. Like, there's something that you were feeling like it's just out of reach for you. But I feel like it's not out of reach and it's not going to take, I feel like it's not going to take you a long time to get it or there's not going to be like a hassle about this thing coming in. Like it's going to be, I feel like things are becoming a lot more easier. A lot more easier. That kind of sounds crazy. But like, and... I feel like spirit is saying to embrace uncertainty because even even if you don't see it just yet, know that it's coming really soon and easily. Like it's not like a you tried so hard to get it. You I don't know. I feel like spirit is saying to either change your vibration or you've been working on changing your vibration or something like that your frequency maybe some of you guys have been getting into things like the law of attraction and um raising your vibration self-concept things like that 
And I feel like it's going to attract what it is that you want to you. And it's not going to be hard. Like, I think that's an, an unexpected blessing. Like, that things are going to be a lot easier for you. And then some type of outcome that you are fearing. Like, I feel like you are thinking the worst about something. Like, you are, especially, it could especially be about your money. But I feel like there's something that you expected the worst but I don't it's not going to be the worst like you're going to be able to make that happen or there's going to be some type of good news or some type of like positive outcome that you get instead of what you are fearing oh death okay so an unexpected blessing I'm getting for some of you guys, something came to an end or is about to come to an end. And that is like, you know, when they say like a, um, not unexpected, but like a hidden, hidden blessing. Like, you know how sometimes like something will come to an end. And you're like, dang, well, that sucks. That's crazy. I can't believe this. And little do you know that it's literally spirit saving your ass. Like, and getting you out of something that just really would have never served you whether it's a relationship a job a living situation a whatever but I think that's the unexpected blessing that like something has come to an end or is coming to an end that was literally spirits having to like come in and be like look look pa one this is not for you <laughs> this ain't it okay let's Let's just cut it out of there, okay? But it also makes me think death to the drama. The, an end to the drama. Queen of Cups. I don't know why that Queen of Cups is just making me think of someone that's just at peace. Like, And um, the original traditional tarot deck she is usually sitting on a throne and she has like this um this like chalice looking thing but it's closed but she's like it's kind of there looking at it guarding it and stuff like that and that's just making me think another unexpected blessing is like you're gonna have more of a handle on your emotions and your I almost want to say cravings and your your impulses and stuff like I feel like you're gonna have more discernment, more control over yourself. And and not that you're just totally out of control, but I feel like maybe there's a lesson you keep having to learn over and over or I don't know. There's something here that has forced you to be like, okay, I need to keep my emotions in check. I need to keep my impulses in check. I need to keep myself in check. I need to be more discerning or more mindful, more demure. <laughs> of course, I had to say it, but that's actually not what I was going to say. But like you being just more picky or more, I don't know, but that's a blessing. That's a blessing. And I'm really hearing f for when it comes to relationships, like being more picky, more like moving slower not being in a rush to settle or I don't know, like exploring your options or I don't know, but I see you being more in control, just in control. And that could even just, and that could also be with your financial habits as well. Like you being more in control, like, okay, I should not spend money right now. Or I should put this away because I know I'm trying to make this important purchase. Or, you know, like I just see you being more discerning. Queen of Wands. Okay, so we have two queens here. And then let's see. The Devil. Reverse. So, yeah. The Devil Reverse. Yeah, like I said, you're cutting away from certain habits and impulses and stuff like that. And being more patient and reflective and yeah and then I also feel like yeah you're avoiding 
some drama. There's some type of outcome that you thought there was going to be, but I think you were fearing the worst and you're not getting the worst. Like you're, the fears, It like I keep hearing like much ado about nothing. That's like a Shakespeare play. <laughs> but, excuse me, much ado about nothing where it's like, oh, I was so worried about this and oh, it was just this. You know? Okay, so now we're going to see when can you expect these blessings to come your way. And these are supposed to be like time periods. Okay, new moon in Gemini. Okay, so we do, Gemini season did pass. As I'm making this, this is a timeless reading, but um, this could be either Gemini season or Sagittarius season. But the new moon in Gemini is usually Gemini season. So that's like late May and most of June. And then um, Sagittarius season is late November and most of December. Okay. So you could expect those blessings around that time. Um, you could also be a Gemini, a Sag, a Pisces or a Virgo one of those mutable signs but I feel like it's interesting because with those signs it's like that's one of the main lessons <laughs> of let me say aura because I am a Virgo of our life like to have discernment to reflect to take in all the information and um get informed instead of just jumping into things, okay? And with communication is key. And just even with this being Gemini, that's just making me think of, like I said, the fearing of a certain outcome that's not, that like you're fearing the worst and that's not what's gonna happen. Um, but if you keep fearing the worst, that's literally, you're gonna manifest it. But I feel like maybe this is supposed to be your checkpoint to be like, hey, 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 stop doing that. Stop thinking like that. But with uh, communication is key. Also, that's making me think of like speaking, speaking things into existence. But it's also making me think of like another way that you're able to avoid drama through um, effectively communicating. And effectively, or not effectively, but just gaining all the information before making decisions. Okay, time to take action. So interesting that we I'm talking about be like, you know, having discernment and reflecting before taking action, and then we have take action. <sighs> so, but this is new moon in Aries. So another time period that could be significant for you is Aries season, which is late March and most of April. Or Libra season, which is late September and most of October. So yeah, um, yeah, those could be significant time periods for you. But I also feel like, yeah, this is spirit, maybe telling you to take action on something now, or or something that you took action on is going to pay off and you just need to be patient. Like, yeah, if you filled out that application, you apply for that place, you, you've, you um, you know, did what you needed to do. Now it's time for you to let spirit work its magic. And then also, um, I forgot what else I was gonna say, so let's just move on. Um, so hopefully these are some more time cards, but sometimes this doesn't have the time card. Not the time cards, but time frames. We have reconsider. Interesting. Reconsider. And that's very interesting because right now we are in Mercury retrograde. And I mean, it's going to be over in like four days because, um, yeah, but we do have the, we do have the shadow period or whatever. And um, 
So Mercury retrograde could be a significant time for you. Or I'm trying to think, what else is... I know Mercury is going retrograde again, like, later on in the year. So, like, I think, if I'm not mistaken, during Sagittarius season. So that, and then also... What else? It's also making me think of what I said as far as, like, being discerning and, like, reflecting and, yeah, being patient and stuff. So some of these things, some of these blessings might not come right away because we do have patience here. But I do feel like the reconsider can also have to do with the blessing that is coming your way, which is... Or the unexpected blessing, which is you being that person that reconsiders and questions everything and super, is super picky and always consulting with spirit and things like that. A year from now. So, yes, yeah, see, for some of you guys, what you're trying to manifest is happening a year from now. Or not what you're trying. Yeah, what you're trying to manifest or this blessing is happening a year from now or towards the end of the year. We do have... Um, and I did talk about Sagittarius season, and that's towards the end of the year. So for some of you guys, this could be towards the end of the year. And then we also have no. <laughs> we also have no. So th this is also interesting. This is also interesting because we have reconsider and no. Be and that's totally giving me someone possibly wanting you to reconsider because like i said mercury retrograde and yeah but i feel like there could possibly someone a year from now coming in asking you to reconsider coming back to them or talking to them and you're like no or in the very near future because we do have a void drama so i feel like there could be someone asking you to reconsider in the very near future and you're just like nah I'm going to avoid, I'm going to avoid this right here. Okay, so we also have, let's see, is there anything that could possibly be um, blocking these blessings? We have four of cups reversed. Don't mind my faded cards. The tower, ooh. The hermit, okay. Okay, so with this tower here, I feel like, I don't know if it's necessarily that some, that it's about your blessings being blocked. I feel like what's happening right now is like, yeah, the endings, like the endings of things. Because there could be a relationship that ended, a job that ended, uh, something that came kind of crumbling down where you're like, bro, what the hell? And I feel like, that's just the beginning process. That's the beginning step that's taking you into this like new phase. Because even how this avoid drama card, if you look, it's like a steps and it's leading into this doorway here. So I feel like, yeah, right now is the destruction of everything. The destruction of be the way of being, the way of doing the way of thinking there's a lot of destruction happening right now so i don't even think it's that your blessings are being blocked i don't think anything's blocking your blessings i think it's just more so spirit is right now clearing the way so if anything has ended just trust that was part of the the destruction and i feel like spirit is wanting you to be by yourself and take yeah, take this time to be in hermit mode or to even, even if it's not necessarily you're just in hermit mode, you're not speaking to anyone, you're not talking to anyone or whatever. It's more so like, I feel like spirit is forcing you to focus on you. Okay, so we have your birthday. Yeah, see, focusing on you. Some of you guys could have a birthday coming up. I have a birthday coming up. Eh. I'm excited, guys. By the time you guys watch this, no, it's not going to be my birthday yet. <laughs> well, my birthday's in a few days. Um, so your birthday could also be in a few days. And we, I did talk about the mutable signs. And we are in Virgo season now. So you could be a Virgo. 
So we also have improvement in every area of your life. Congrats. See, that, whoa, that just gave me goosebumps. That actually just gave me goosebumps. But I feel like right now, maybe as you're watching this, you're just seeing the the ruins of the tower falling, of things not working out, of things ending and stuff like that. So that could that could be what you're seeing at this very moment. But yeah, there's I don't think there's any blocks. I think it's just that right now it's a destruction phase. Two months. Okay, see, that's interesting that we have two months here. And we have a year from now and we have two months. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, you're about to start seeing some big changes within the next two months. Um, I think right now, like I said, is the the destruction phase. You know how it is when when people are demolishing a house or a building or something like that. Yeah, at first it's going to look crazy as hell because it's like everything is destroyed. But then they start building. And then there's that new building or new house or new area, whatever. So I think, yeah, maybe the last two months have been a little destructive or the next two months have been or, or going to be a little like transformational and looking like a lot of things are crazy. But I think it's the, it's the end of these tower moments. I don't know. Okay. We also, I like you, but I like my freedom. Okay. So this is another thing here. I feel like with some of you guys, if there is a relationship that ended, I feel like it's because spirit wants you to be single or wants you to, yeah, just even if it's like you're talking to people, you're flirting, like be discerning. Be discerning and communicate. Get all the information that you can get observing these people, these these friendships and, you know, things like that. Because, you know, maybe you've, you've had a lot of heartbreak. But, yeah, we have vacation and time with the ones you love. Very interesting. So that could be coming up for you. Um, So, yeah, I feel like, yeah, for some of you guys, it could be relationships that have been a blockage or... Or some of you guys, there could have been negative spell work regarding your relationships. And I hate to, I know I always say this, but I, I hate to just blame it on that. Cause, but I just be trying to say it because sometimes that is the case. So there could have been negative spell work regarding your love life. So spirit is like, okay, just be discerning because every person that try to talk to you that seems sweet, that seem that don't, that don't mean to entertain them you know what i mean so be be mindful with that but yeah and i'm talking friendships colleagues whoever just be very discerning and then oh i read that one walking love spell that's funny that i talked about like spells on your love life and then we have walking love spell and i feel like it's because you're this queen of cups and you're this queen of wands and you're so magnetic and so open-hearted so it's so important that you are so mindful about when certain people or opportunities come your way because it's like it's not always the best for you and then we have agree to disagree so for some of you guys this is this person that wants to recon wants you to reconsider okay so yeah that is your reading pile number one. If it resonated with you, let me get um, a lightning bolt emoji because I feel like there's going to be some, yes, yeah, some destruction, but it's, or there may be some de destruction right now, but it's, it's definitely for your highest good. Okay. So yeah, put that in the comment section. If you feel called to tip me, book me for a reading, um, Excuse me, follow me on social media. All that good stuff is in the description. Um, what else? Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you're updated every single time I drop something new, okay? I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace. Hello, 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 those of you that chose picture number two, pile number two.
yeah, let's get into your reading all about, um, yeah, unexpected blessings coming your way. So, of course, we have a spread, and I'm going to be talking first about the unexpected blessings coming your way. Then we're going to talk about when can you expect these blessings to come your way. And then we're going to talk about is there anything that could possibly be blocking these blessings, okay? So, uh, let's get into it. You know, already know we're going to be choosing from the bowl of answers as well. Um, yeah, she going she gonna to give us the tea. Okay, so let's see. Take a breath. Shadow work. Um, intuition. And cleansing. Okay, so a blessing that... That is um an unexpected blessing. Hmm. I feel like your intuition, your intuition is gonna be very loud, very um correct. <laughs> It's going to be very loud. It's very correct. Um, I feel like you are, you already know that you're very intuitive, but maybe you don't always trust your intuition. Maybe you don't always trust your intuition. And now it's like you've been trusting it more. And then like, it's almost situations where you're glad you trusted it. You're glad you paid attention to what it was telling you. I think that's what this is giving like as far as blessings um let's see also shadow work i also feel like un another unexpected blessing for you is the shadow work that you're doing is helping you as well like where you're realizing you're realizing certain triggers and certain patterns and like you're just noticing certain things like you're you've been taking time to look at yourself and why you keep perpetuating certain things or you're attracting the same type of thing or you're or I don't know like I just see you being real with yourself like you're being you're being more self-aware and that may not sound necessarily like a blessing, but trust me, it is. <laughs> trust me, it is. There's too many people out here walking around like without self-awareness. So you could be going through a dark night of the soul or a... um or a spiritual awakening or something like that. I feel like a spiritual awakening and dark night of the soul is, it goes hand in motherfucking hand, okay? <laughs> because when people say spiritual awakening, people think like, oh, the heavens are opening up and there's gonna be a bright light that just shines on me and, and it's just gonna feel like, wow, I'm awakened. It don't be like that oftentimes, it don't. It be you realizing like damn I get in my own way or damn my thoughts about myself are terrible or damn my spending habits are horrible or damn I eat these certain foods knowing damn well I shouldn't eat them or oh I keep doing that like it's that's what it is the spiritual awakening is becoming more self-aware and realizing how you get in your own way um, possibly noticing the patterns within your family, um, whether it has to do with the relationships, the health, the, the life circumstances and stuff like that. It's like, I think you're becoming aware of it and that's a blessing for you because you know, you're not going to continue with the cycle, whatever that is, because we have this cleansing and with the cleansing and take a breath for some reason, that's making me think like breath work could be a blessing for you or something because 
maybe it'll help you maybe cleanse some chakras or like there's some type of like cleansing that this will do for you with the breath work. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see what else. Page of Pentacles, okay. Mm, Page of Cups, okay. Some more Pentacles, Two of Pentacles though. And then the world. Yeah, like I said, cycles. You're realizing cycles and habits that need to come to an end or that you need to... You need to stop. Okay. Um, and with this two of pentacles, that's definitely making me think of spending habits for some of you guys, like realizing like, oh, dang, this is kind of what's like making me not be able to save my money or this food is making my skin break out or what whatever it is that you're like okay this is this is the issue like you're finding the the root cause to an issue for some of you guys this could be something with health as well like there's you're finding the root cause you're and sometimes you know disease starts from a root cause that's like energetic so some of you guys could start realizing like, for example, like if, if you have heart issues or something like that, it could be partly because of your diet or habits and stuff, but it could also be because you have had heartbreak after heartbreak for like 20 years. You know what I mean? Like it could literally be any, like something like that. But I don't know. That's what I'm seeing for you. Like you're, you're seeing the root cause. Okay, so now we're about to see when can you expect these blessings? We have emotions are running high, super moon, okay. And then we have new moon in Scorpio, work through your fears. Okay, so Scorpio season is coming soon. So that's um, late October and most of November. And then this could also be during Taurus season, which is late April, most of May. Okay. So, and then my phone just lit up. Interesting. But yeah, work through your fears. This is making me think of stuff I was saying in Pile One. So if you felt drawn to Pile One, definitely check it out. But I definitely feel like with work through your fears and shadow work, they go hand in hand. Like, I feel like you are working through some habits, but I feel like you're also working through some like, well, this, I guess this is a habit too, but like negative beliefs. And then my phone just lit up. So yeah, I see you working through that. Okay. Okay. So we also have take action. Okay. So you were definitely drawn to pile one. <laughs> Cause yeah, take action came up in that pile, but it was a whole different deck. <laughs> so take action. So this could be now, like spirit is saying now, but for y'all with this unexpected blessing, this is like a lot of this is through your own initiation. Um, this is like through your own initiation, like you being like, oh wow, I see a repeating cycle or oh wow, um, I see these habits or oh wow, this is this and oh wow, this is that. Like, I feel like this is self-initiated, these blessings that are, um, coming it's because you initiated it of like cleansing yourself okay so we also have recovery yes yeah, see recovery 
And then the situation will improve. Wow. That's literally making me think of if you take action and look at these habits, you will recover and the situation will improve. This is totally making me think of Pile 1. So definitely check out Pile 1. But yeah, the situation will definitely improve with you taking initiative as far as being like, okay, let me uh, stop this. Let me do more of this. Let me think, let me change my mindset. Let me like, yeah. So all of those urges that you're getting to, yeah, change your mindset, change your diet, change your habits, end certain toxic cycles or toxic habits, which I basically said already, um, that will improve your situation. Um, so I feel like as far as the time period, because we did have New Moon and Scorpio, and as I'm making this, this is, um, that's coming within like the next two months. Oh yeah, two months did come up in the other pile. Watch pile one, okay? So yeah, if you take action, I feel like in the next two months, you'll see improvement. You will definitely see improvement, but um, this is timeless. This is a timeless reading. So just two two months from where, whenever you're watching this, and then also two months, or or not two months, but like whatever is two. Well, yeah, whatever is two months before Taurus season, that could be a significant time for you as well. So Taurus, um, Aries, and Pisces. So yeah, Pisces season could be significant for you as well. Um, Capricorn season could be significant. So yeah, if you take action. After watching this, or if you've been taking action, yeah, you can definitely see these blessings and improvements and all that within the next two months. Okay, so let's also see, is there anything that could possibly be blocking your blessings? Three of swords reverse. Yeah, that's funny that I brought up heart. So some of you guys really could that really could be an uh, issue with you where it's like you have heart problems and it really, that could be the root cause of you being stabbed in the heart so many times, experiencing so many heartbreaks. Of course, there's other things that that could be, um, you know, causing that, such as like your habits and, you know, the things you're eating and stuff like that. But I definitely think it could also be the, the heartbreak that you experience over and over. But that could be a block for you also. Maybe Spirit is saying that there is... But this came out reverse, so maybe you you already know and you're starting to work on it. But I feel like Spirit is saying to heal your heart. Heal your heart chakra. There's a need to heal your heart. Um, so yeah, working with heart chakra music, wearing green, um, eating a lot of greens, being in nature, uh, only being around people that are gentle with your heart, listening to your heart, you know, stuff like that, I think could be, could be helpful. Nine of swords. Yeah. Nine of swords. Your worries, your worries and like. The things that broke your heart, I feel like it it plays over and over in your mind for some of you guys. And that could be, yeah, the shadow work that you need to heal through or work through because your heart has been broken a lot of times. Your trust has been broken a lot of times. We have new moon in Scorpio. Yeah, so... I feel like healing your heart chakra, healing, maybe just cleansing all of your chakras, just needing to cleanse in general, detox and stuff. That could be what's blocking your, not blocking, but well, yeah, blocking your blessings because there's a need to cleanse from the past. 
really deeply cleanse from the past and like, yeah. Let all these, let the tears flow. Like, I keep hearing like antioxidants. I'm also seeing like turmeric, black seed oil, moringa, lavender. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm I'm seeing you work with that or use that or something like that. But it um your health I feel like is also being affected, like I said, by these things that have been weighing on you. And then we have King of Wands. Okay, so I think another thing that could be block blocking your blessings is not realizing how powerful you are and maybe even like how how powerful your intuition is. Because I think your intuition gives you a lot of guidance and telling you what to what to do, where to go, what to try, what like and I don't think you give your intuition enough credit and I think that what that's what could be blocking your blessings is like when you have a gut feeling about something or like when your heart is telling you something or you know so i definitely think that could be blocking your blessings and then we have king of Cup, uh, wands i mean it landed right over recovery so i feel like yeah you're you're recovering from a tower moment like i said Kinda in part, part one, but you're you're recovering from a tower moment or a spirit is saying that you can recover from this tower moment or from these things that kind of came against you or didn't work out for you. You can recover from this and if you start taking action. Okay? So we also are going to choose a few things from the Bowl of Answers. So, yeah, let's see. Six months. Perfect, because we were trying to see a time frame. And, yes, I said two months and then six months. And that's so funny because if you were drawn to the other pile, I said something about something being towards the end of the year. And if you're watching this when I first drop it, yep, that's in six months, just about. Uh, well, no, no, a little less than six months, actually. So yeah, something is coming in six months. Okay. Or the situation will look completely different in six months. You're a star seed, you have extra extraordinary gifts. So, yeah, you need to realize how powerful you are. And the more you step into your power, the the more of these blockages will be released. And about 333, three, three, have fun, share your ideas, study, create something, get outside. I know I did talk about getting outside, but yeah. People are intimidated because you're powerful and I keep talking about you stepping into your power and I feel like the more you step into your power, the more you're going to see improvements in your situation. If you take action. What? Thank you for the confirmation spirit. It literally says, you don't look like what you've been through. Literally, you've been through a lot. Pile, uh, pile two. I was about to say pile one, and yeah, check it out. But you don't look like what you've been through, and it's just also bringing me back to if you take action right now, like the situation is gonna prove so tremendously that you, like, your life will do a complete one eighty, where you're just like, whoa, I can't even believe my life looked like something else, ever. Your absence speaks volumes. Wow. So, hmm. 
This could go back to what I said in pile one it was about someone wanting you to reconsider because your absence speaks volumes. And then my phone just lit up. And then at the time that it is right now, I know that number has to do with like a situation regarding you and others are, is coming to an end and trust that spirit is bringing you positive and much suited, much more suited relationships into your life. It, it's something like that. And then how this is like a powerful time of manifestation. Okay. Let go of your ex. Yes. Yeah, see, there's definitely someone that's going to try to ask you to reconsider. Um, let's see. All mine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Saturn maturing, learning life lessons, responsibilities, goals. What did I say? Like you're literally real, like you're realizing like, yeah, okay, I shouldn't do this. I should do this. Like you're just, you're learning your lessons. And that's what's, uh, that's what's, I feel like unblocking your blessings. And then Saturn is a planet that moves very slow. So I feel like it's been a long time coming. Oh, we have Saturn right here too. So it's been a long time coming with you learning this lesson, but I feel like you're finally learning these lessons. You're finally understanding what the hell spirit is saying not to do, okay? And I think you're also releasing a lot of the disappointments that come with, or not come, came <laughs> with having to go through all these trials and tribulations, okay? And then we also have start that new career path, so... Yep, there we go. So that was your reading pile number two. If it resonated with you, let me get a, I don't even know what this emoji is called, but it's like a graph and the stuff is like, the little line is going up. So you could probably t type in like growth or up and you'll get that. It's like a little graph and it has like a little red arrow that's like, going up like it's going up a up a graph or something so yeah let me get that in the comment section okay or you can do a pointing up emoji if you can't find that okay <gasps> all right if you want to book me for a reading tip me follow me on social media buy art for me all that good stuff that information is below okay um if you or no make sure you Hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you're updated every single time I drop something new, okay? I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Whoa, what's up? Those of you that chose pile number three, let's get into your reading all about, um, yeah, what unexpected blessings are coming your way. So first of all, how that shit just happened with my throat. <clears> throat> Okay, I feel like an unexpected blessing could be maybe like a message, like some type of message you get, maybe someone sliding in your DMs or like some maybe some type of incoming message from spirit or incoming like solution where it's just like right there, like that's exactly what I was looking for or that was exactly what I needed or that was exactly like some type of like like miracle divine well i mean this is blessings you know but it literally is going to be some type of like divine intervention or divine um solution where it's like exactly what you need is put in right on your path like right right in front of your eyes or like the like a person that can help you right on your path or like exactly what you needed that's what i'm getting for you but yeah, let's see what comes out. We have stay in integrity, the past, new begin. Well, this is new moon and it says beginnings. And then strength. So that's so funny that we have the past and we also have beginnings and we have stay in integrity. Okay, so... This could be unexpected, like, 
those of you that stayed, I guess, stayed in integrity, stayed true to yourself in the past is bringing new beginnings. And I feel like the perfect example of that is like, let's say, you know, you have always wanted to be a YouTuber. Let's say you've always wanted to be a YouTuber and you stayed on that path even when people have told you, now nah, that's not going to work out. Uh, now nah, that's dumb. Um, no, that's not even worth your time. Nah, that's unattainable. Nah, that's this. Nah, that's that. But you still stuck with it. You still stuck with it. You still, you still believed in it. And that's what's bringing you some new beginnings, some new opportunities and stuff. And especially with the strength card, because the strength card is really making me feel like you stuck with something, like you stuck with something or you, you didn't give up on something. And this could even be like, you stuck to your guns about your morals or your, like your wants from a relationship or your wants from a, a job or whatever. Like you kept saying like, nah, I, I'm going to wait for the partner that is like this or they have this or they do this or I'm going to stick it out for a job where, you know, I'm able to work from home and I can create my own schedule or I can do this or I can do that. Like you stuck to whatever plan or idea or moral or value, you stuck with it and it's, I guess you could say paying off or it's finally happening or something like that. Let's see what else. Six of Cups. That's funny because this card has to do with the past. The Knight of Swords. Judgment. And Two of Swords. Okay. Okay. And, you know, even though this Two of Swords can have to do with, um, like, being indecisive and not making decisions and stuff, for some reason this time, though, it's not making me feel like you were indecisive. I feel like that was you blocking people's opinions out. Like, what people said you should do, what people said you should pursue, what people, the things, I don't know, maybe... Your family said, like, says you should do things in a certain way or, like, your culture or something like that that you had to kind of, like, block out people's negative opinions and thoughts and beliefs. But that ends up paying off for you in a very positive way because you blocked it out. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily, like, a delusional type of situation where yeah you're choosing not to see what's in front of you or something like that I think it's more so you having the strength to block out other people's opinions and just be like I believe so hard in myself and I I just can't take in anyone else's opinions right now and that like playing off or not playing off paying off like it's giving like tunnel vision like you having tunnel vision about something and it being like it, it paying off. That's really the best that's the best way I can put it. Like where you didn't yeah, you didn't allow other people's opinions and whatever get to you. And then like with this judgment being here. That's also making me think of like your higher calling, you following a higher calling and that's what's paying off here. You find, uh, you following your higher calling, whatever it is. Like, I feel like you have like some big dreams, some big goals for yourself. And I feel like you are, or you, you had to block out the naysayers. You had to block out the people that said, um, um, you can't do that. Or like just people that don't necessarily have the same beliefs as you. 
And of course, I'm not talking about like when people are giving you sound advice and you know what I mean? Because you know when someone's giving you sound advice, like you can tell. But I think there's something that you've been trying to accomplish or just a big dream or goal of yours. And yeah, you have to block people out and like not tell them what you had going on or excuse me, or like just keep a lot of it to yourself. And it ends up paying off because you were able to focus on making this happen without like having these certain, I don't know, these beliefs or these opinions of other people like kind of playing in your head. Or maybe even if that's something that happened to you where you you do kind of have that negative, those negative voices in your head, possibly because of upbringing or beliefs like yeah whatever it's like you're I don't know you're not allowing it to affect you anymore you're not allowing that to affect you anymore so yeah let's see um let's see when oh I forgot to tell y'all we do have a spread because we the first question is um What unexpected blessings are coming um, your way? And then the next one is what or when can you expect these blessings to come in? And then the other part is, is there anything that could possibly be blocking these blessings? So let's see when you can expect these blessings to come in. Expect powerful change. That's funny (laughs) that we have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So we do have another eclipse. This is a timeless reading, but as I'm making this, we do have an eclipse happening in um, October. We have an eclipse happening during Libra season, and I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, the new moon eclipse is in Libra, if I'm I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. Um, And then we have a full moon eclipse in Aries. So yeah, so Libra season could be significant where you start seeing some of these new beginnings. Um, yeah. What do you need to release? Waning or waning moon. Okay, and then we have communicate clearly. No. <laughs> Very interesting. And then we have if you believe. Okay, so we, we were just talking about beliefs. But it's interesting that we have communicate clearly and then we also have no. So that's interesting because remember at the beginning I was like feeling some in my throat and I was like, "Eh, eh, eh," or whatever noise I did there. But with that communicate clearly, it just makes me think of like, yeah, you like how I was clearing my throat, like you clearing your throat and like a letting i almost want to say letting your voice be heard where it's like you're standing up for yourself but it's also making me think of like you know blocking people out and not like having everyone what everyone say like oh you should do this you should do that like you're not allowing it to be part of your thinking process or taking action process anymore And then, yeah, communicate clearly, no. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to be clearly telling people no. Like, no, yeah, you can believe that or you can say that. I I choose not to go along with what you're saying. (laughs) I choose not to take your advice. I choose not to, like, I, I see you just saying no. You're choosing not to subscribe to certain people. But... We also have you, if you believe. So we did, like I said, we talked about beliefs. So communicate clearly. That's making me think of the mutable sign season since they're usually associated with communication. Gemini, Virgo, Sag, and Pisces. <coughs> so um, see how there keeps being something with my throat. So yeah, those seasons could be significant. So Sag season, that's coming up soon. That's late late November and most of December. Um, Oh yeah, and we're in Virgo season right now as I'm making this. So that's late August, the rest of September, or most of September, 
And then um, Pisces season is late February, most of March. And then what else? Um, Pisces. Oh, Gemini, which is late May and the rest of June. So, yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like those are the time periods that you can expect some of these blessings. But, yeah, like with these new beginnings. Because we do have new, oh yeah, we have new moon, new moon. So it could be those time periods that I said, or like around a new moon. So yeah, like all those seasons I talked about. So it could be new moon in Virgo, new moon in Gemini. New moon in Sagittarius, new moon in Pisces. Like around those time periods, you can expect some new beginnings regarding like what I was talking about as far as how you, you know, you stuck with something and then you starting to see it pay off in a big way. It's going to be happening around a new moon. Okay. All right. So now we're going to see, is there anything possibly blocking your blessings. So we have five of cups reversed. And then nine of pentacles, okay. And then we have the hierophant, okay. So I don't feel like anything's blocking your blessings. I think you've already been doing the work. Like I feel like you, like how this is stay in integrity. I feel like you, you stayed the course. You took the path. You kept going. Because even with this Five of Cups being reversed, it's making me think that, like, yeah, like, you, you're just, you're already on this path. Um, yeah, and then this Nine of Pentacles. This is definitely making me think like you're on your way. I don't know. It's just how this road is right here. Like, I feel like you're on your way. And then even with the New Beginnings card, she's on a path too. Like, there's like a... Are those steps? Uh, no. Are those steps? They kind of look like steps. I don't know. They kind of look like steps. But yeah, there's like steps... And there's like a road. Yeah, I feel like you're you've already been doing this and it's just it's just been a matter of time before this was gonna reach you. You know, so now let's get some stuff from the bowl of answers to kind of like clarify. Traveler, okay. So that's funny because we were talking about steps. So travel for work, working multiple locations, move for work, travel influencer, vlogger, travel for shows. So you could be being called to travel and maybe that's maybe what's blocking you because you've been kind of like, oh, I don't know if I should do this or I don't know. It could even be the need to step out of your comfort zone. Oh, yeah, we're talking about traveling and there's a road here. This is just also making me think of like staying the course, like you stayed the course. Mars, motivation, anger, taking action. Look, three three piles talked about. This is the third pile talking about taking action. So you literally, yeah, could be taking action or there's a need to take action um because there are some things you need to initiate but i feel like that's what you've been doing like you've been motivated you've been taking action you've been doing the things but we also have standing up for yourself so like i said you you um yeah with this communicate clearly and no i feel like that's you kind of being like yeah no i'm not taking that advice or no i'm not doing things that way or yeah and just maybe not taking no for an answer as far as like failure, where you're like, nope, I that just means I got to do this. If this didn't work out, that just means I need to do this. Obsessed. We have obsessed. So I feel like, 
there's one or two ways this could be taken. So obsessed could literally mean like you've been obsessed with your goals and that's why things are coming in and you're just, you know, or it could be spirit is saying like you're so obsessed and there's a need to like kind of fall back a little bit. Okay. And then we have Kali Ma. Kali Ma. So Kali Ma, she's very interesting. <laughs> she's very interesting. She can look a little scary, but she is actually a nurturing, nurturing deity. But I feel like that's making me think of like, you know, you you stayed the course. You stayed the course. You stuck stuck to your guns. And that's why you're going to see some things happening for you. <sighs> Can I get another chance? That's crazy because we have, we have no. <laughs> we had reconsider in the other pile and then no. And then now we have communicate clearly and no. And then we have, can I have another chance with the answer no here? So maybe their spirit is saying like, if you take somebody back, that could possibly, and then my phone lit up, okay. If you take somebody back, that could be something that blocks your blessings or something. Mm. <laughs> and then we have, you made the right decision. I guess for saying no. For saying no or whatever, whoever you're blocking out or whoever you're saying like, no, I'm not taking that advice. Three, 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 have fun, share your ideas, study, create something, get outside. So maybe there's a need to get outside. I did talk about getting out of your comfort zone. Mm, we have All Mine by Brent Fayez, Fayez or whatever and... He's talking about catching a flight and uh, changing the weather. So some of you guys could be going on vacation soon. And maybe that's what Spirit is saying. Like, there's a need to rest and maybe, yeah, say no to people sometimes. And take more time for you. And to focus on what you got going on because I feel like you maybe say yes too much to people or... Yeah, I feel like there's a need to focus on you. And then we have, we're so different. How would things ever work out between us? So this could be someone that um, wants to come back and wants another chance. And they tried to, I don't know, maybe they thought y'all were too different and didn't think things would work out. But then they're asking for another chance. But I feel like maybe they had issues with communication and that's why spirit is like, um, don't say yes to that. <laughs> don't say yes to that. But this could also be like you just wondering if things will work out for you with what you're trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. I Spirit. We have I Miss You by Beyonce. Oh, and then the Six of Cups here does have to do with someone from the past trying to come back. Lord, and I feel like Spirit is just, maybe this is just a warning for you right now. And Spirit is like, yeah, if you, if you take that person back or you go back to that job or you go back to whatever, it's going to block your blessings because there could be yeah, because we have change here. So spirit is wanting you to change, step out of your comfort zone. Like, don't go back to that person or go back to that job or go back to whatever. Unless you really feel like, you know, that's really what you should do. For some of you guys, it's you shouldn't. You should not. Okay, and then we have Taurus. Yeah, Taurus came up. Well, no, no, no. I was talking about Gemini, I think. But I was talking about late May. So Taurus season could be significant for you. Scorpio season could be significant for you. Leadership position, yeah. So with leadership position, 
this could be like, yeah, you focusing on you, focusing on your goals and like, I don't know, saying no to other people at times because it's time to, yeah, focus on you. And I feel like you're you're being promoted. You're you're seeing some type of upgrade in your career and something that you stuck with. Spirituality, healer, psychic, Reiki, crystals, astrology, tarot, philosopher, energy. So yeah. That some of you guys you could have a career in spirituality and maybe it was kind of slow for you for a bit and now things are picking up or I don't know, something like that. Work has all of my attention. There is no one else. Yes, yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Spirit is wanting you to focus on your work. For, focus on yourself, your projects and stuff and stop saying, I don't want to say stop saying yes to helping people because of course you can help people if you want to, but I feel like there's an, there's been a focus on other people or a focus on people's opinions or something having to do with other people. And spirit is like, say no sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like say no, keep, you know, I almost want to say keep people at a distance, but I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say that, but I definitely feel like spirit is trying to speak solely to you. And there might have been like the pains of others or other types of distractions or something that had you unfocused or have you, I don't know. Oh, look, we have love contract or offer. Mm. So yeah, I definitely feel like someone wants another chance. They're going to be like, oh, look, I miss you or whatever, whatever. But I do feel like there's some new people possibly coming in and... I don't know. I feel like you're going to be feeling more called to focus on yourself or some of you guys might say no to relationships right now or I don't know, but there's definitely someone coming in with a love offer. I should be. Okay. <laughs> yep. There's definitely someone new coming in that's like, I should be your boyfriend. I should be your girlfriend. Good news, check your your email or voicemail. Mmm, okay. And then we have media, social media commentary, YouTube, blog, blog. And I literally talked about YouTube. So some of you guys could be YouTubers or content creators and you're about to see your stuff take off in a powerful way. And then we have square, tension, difficult, conflict, hot-headed pain that causes action. So yeah. I definitely feel like a lot of your hard work is about to pay off. Your life purpose is connected with your career. Come on now. I know. I know. And that's why you're called to be in a certain field, even if other people don't understand it at first. And then we have Gemini. <laughs> that's so funny. We definitely did talk about Gemini. Okay. So that was your reading pile number three. If it resonated with you, let me get, huh, let's see. Let's get a one, one, one in the comment section because we literally have so many new beginnings happening for you. So many powerful changes happening for you. You've been doing the work and now it's coming. Okay. So let me get a 111 in the comments. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you're updated every single time I drop something new. If you feel called to tip me, book me for a reading, follow me on social media, buy any of my products. That information is below, okay? I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.